Hello everyone, welcome back to another Illustrator CS6 tutorial and we're still in the typing section and uh, today we're gonna learn how to select type and uh, that might seem dumb but you can save yourself a lot of stress and getting pissed off by pretty much knowing how to select your type correctly. So let's go ahead and we're gonna type a few things first. Let's make uh, some regular type and then we'll do some vertical. Oh man, I have it set to middle here, as you can see, instead of uh, uh, top or bottom. So there we go with that. And then I want to make a an area type. Um, let's go to here. We go. And set that to nothing. And then we'll set this to something. Really go fast. Okay, that's good. All right, so let's start out. Let's type in the area type and um, click on the path and I'll start typing. That's okay that the stroke fell down. It's okay. Okay, so the first one is your selection tool. Now, when you use a selection tool, it's going to allow you to um, click on either it's going to allow you to click on both the text and the text path so pretty much it's selecting the character and its object the direct selection tool so if i click on this uh text area you can see that the object and the te text is actually selected if i use my direct selection tool i can select either the text or the path so that's pretty helpful. And then um, I also wanted to show you that you can um, select certain types or certain parts of the words or certain parts of your text. So if we go to our like our text type tool here and I just want to grab this part that says gull and I want to make it really way smaller. You can do that and you can edit certain parts of your text and that's easy enough. So go ahead and grab your text tool, any text tool that you're using. And if you click um, and drag, you can select uh, more text, as much text as you want. This is in case you don't know how to do this. And that's how you do that. If you double click on it, it's, it's going to just select the word. If you triple click, it's going to select the whole entire paragraph. Um, which is all the lines in the paragraph and if you want to select everything you can just hit um, select and then go, all, go to all and it'll select everything within uh, where your cursor is now if you have something selected like that all you need to do is hold down control and then click and it will deselect the text for you while still allowing you to keep your type tool on and not trying to type anything else out. I wanted to also show you that you can take text from um, from documents that you already have going on. So we'll open up this one and paste them into, let me, Control C. I'm hitting Control C so I can paste, copy it. Oh, I brought that over on the wrong screen. Sorry. Um, I just brought up this. Uh, I just opened up a text uh, document in, on Notepad. And I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to go ahead and click. Uh, that's not what I want to do. I wanted to click in my text object. Maybe hit Enter. And then Control V to paste it and it goes ahead and pastes. Now the size was too big and it overflowed as you can tell by this plus sign here, but you can just copy and paste text. Um, if you don't want to import or anything like that, then this, that's a good way to do it. If you need to end up changing your font type, go ahead and grab your text tool and select what you want to change and go up here into type 
and we've got our fonts here that we can change out and they also have the regular or or they have the different styles um, that you can use if you want to and then you have a couple of recent fonts that you might have used here you can change your size and um, pretty much for size I just use this right here but for my different fonts I like to use type and then go to font because you can actually see what you're picking. It's really hard to remember all the different fonts. And if you just click on this um, arrow down here, you're going to be able to go through the different fonts. So if I wanted to use this, obviously that's not a good one to pick, but here we go. If I delete all this other crap that I put in there, you can see that I have changed it to a, a new text easily. And that's pretty cool. So that's pretty much it that I just wanted to show you about um, selecting the text and being able to modify it a little bit. And it's just good to know this stuff so that when you're selecting things and you want to select just the text or you just want to select the object or something like that, you're not using the wrong tools and it's not making you all mad and you don't have to swear and stuff like that. So... Thanks a lot for watching the video and give a thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks a lot, everybody. Have a good day.